I can't tell you how many times when an agency was purchased, a customer would call and say, oh my gosh, you guys changed agencies. Is my policy canceled? They don't understand what purchasing an agency or acquiring an agency means. Hi, Teresa with Agency Performance Partners here. And thanks for joining me for this blog solo podcast about how to minimize client deflection when buying an existing insurance agency. Basically, you've got potential buyers, you're acquiring an insurance agency, the insurance agency is an existing agency, so it may have been in business for a really long time. How do you retain clients? Well, it's important to minimize client deflection by having a stable client base that ensures a smooth transition and long-term success for a newly acquired agency. There are many, many different ways for us to basically do this. First, you want to conduct due diligence. You want to understand the history of the agency. You want to understand the agency's reputation, the demographics, and their performance. You want to evaluate client retention rates, analyze the history, historical data of client retention, and identify any patterns or issues. Assess the existing client's preferences, their needs, the way they like to communicate. If you're in a small town, it's going to be different than being in a big city. So you have to take that into account. You need to build a transition strategy, understanding client relationships, identify key client relationships, and understand the expectations from the transition. You have to engage with agency staff. Work to collaborate with the existing staff to ensure a smooth handover. And if you're merging two agencies, you need to merge staff. You need to merge leadership. So it may take a lot more work, some more than others. But you do have to take into account staff and how they feel about this transition because that will actually reflect over onto clients. If staff members are unhappy about the transition or the buyout or the purchase, then they're going to relay that over to the clients. The clients aren't going to want to stay because they trust usually trust these staff members as their insurance advisors. We have to make sure that everybody's um, happy about the transition. We need to talk about the positive thing. We have to have a communication plan. We have to create a detailed communication strategy to keep clients informed and engaged throughout the transition. Now, I've heard sometimes uh, agencies feel that it's better not to tell the client. Well, if the client happens to get a bill in the mail or notices something and they end up they, they could see the name of the agency and they're like, this isn't the name of my agency. Who is this? And why are they, why do they have my information? So you have to determine how the client is going to react to the information. So you either communicate with them, which it's great to do something like a newsletter. You post your newsletter on social media. People can subscribe to your newsletter. That's a great way to communicate between the agency and your client. And then if the client says, oh, I didn't see anything, you can say, hey, we have a newsletter. You haven't subscribed to it. We sent it to your email. You must not have seen it. So at least you're covering your bases. You want to build trust and credibility, personalize interactions, address the client by their name, use the agency's reputation. If you're acquiring an agency that's in a local area, talk about the highlights that that agency does, their positive track record, how they work with the community any community service they do, any stories you can use to build trust. So introduce yourself and your team and your background. This will establish familiarity and it will help clients and new staff members understand more of why you are where you are. So it's a great idea just to overall, just be open and honest and get to know the people at the agency you're purchasing. Retaining clientele during the transition you have to provide continuity of service, assure that the clients, their policies and coverages will remain intact. I can't tell you how many times when an agency was purchased, a customer would call and say, oh my gosh, you guys changed agencies. Is my policy canceled? They don't understand what purchasing an agency or acquiring an agency means. So it's very important that the clients understand that nothing is going to happen to their policy. Nothing is changing. Now, if you do have agents of records and you are going to be book rolling or that kind of thing, you need to be very clear to the customer about what's going to happen to their policy. If it is going to be rolled or moved to another carrier, you need to be clear. Your policy will stay with the current carrier for a year or two, give them an expectation, 
but it then will be written into another carrier, but we will make sure that we get you the same coverages and we'll make sure that you know what your policy has, what features it has, and what it's going to cover. Offer incentive. So consider offer offering loyalty bonuses for customers that stay uh, discount for existing clients. And I know in the insurance industry, that's really, really hard. But even discount reviews and renewal reviews uh, can be ways for you to connect with the client. Talk about how you review policies and you look for discounts every time the policy reviews that you're going to work really diligently and you're going to take the time to take care of their policy and make sure their coverages are keeping up with their lifestyle. Be prepared to address any client concerns promptly and transparently because you don't want to hide anything. You don't want them to feel that way or they will go shop elsewhere. So if you want to enhance the customer experience, there could be technology or there could be different things that the, the agency that is buying the other agency, they could have some great technology. They could have some great personal and procedures that you're going to implement. So you need to look at the positives that are going to occur when these agencies come together and merge. When the agency is being purchased, we're going to have all of these new carriers. We're going to have all this new technology. It's going to make our work efficient. We're going to have better communication channels. Our responsive time is going to be quicker or you're going to have more support or you'll have specific claim handling, claims handling. So anything that's going to help increase the customer service, you want to make sure that that is clear and that it is communicated to your staff and your clients. Introduce all of that, the new services, the new carriers, the new technology. You may have a neat app that the customer can use and they may enjoy that. They may be digitally sound and they're good at all of this digital stuff. So it may be a positive for them. Seek feedback. So regularly solicit feedback from the customers on how you can improve the agency and demonstrate it by actually following through and thanking the customer and making those changes. So it's important that we show the client that we're there for them, that we're going to make changes, that things are going to be better, that you're moving forward in technology with better apps and better technology and better customer service, better claims handling. But you want to make sure that you make the staff of the agency you're purchasing and the clientele of that agency feel welcomed, feel this is a positive change and that things are going to be really good. So encourage a client-centric approach with your staff. Suggest nurturing strong client relationship And that will lead to long-term growth and success for the acquired agency. So you want to make sure that you're doing your due diligence, checking on the agency, the demographics, the communication style, and that you are enhancing those things when you purchase an agency. So all the way around, usually a purchase of an agency can be a positive thing. It will allow people to retire if necessary. It will allow for better technology. It will allow for better communication with clients. But all in all, buying an existing insurance agency that's already running can be very, very successful and it can increase and grow your agency. You just need to make sure that you do it properly, that you have strategies in place, that you have processes and procedures in place, and that those processes and procedures are going to be the same with the current agency that you hold and the agency that you are acquiring. You don't want six different agencies all working in six different ways, even though it's one agent. I've been in an agency where the original agent bought six different agencies. and They had six files, different sections of file cabinet, a section for each agent. Then another agent bought that agency. So there was one office that had file cabinets for seven different agencies. And they would, they still did paper. They had a management system, but they never took the time to take those files and put them into the computer. So you had customers from all these different agents calling in, asking about their policies, and it wasn't in their management system. So they'd have to either find the folder or they would have to go to the carrier and try to look up the policy without even having the policy number, with just having the name and what kind of policy it was. In the end, it ended up being a more complicated, very frustrating process because if you call your insurance agency and they don't know who you are, they don't know what kind of policy you have, it really makes that agency look poor. 
looks really, really bad. So that's when they're like, oh my gosh, do I even have insurance? And that's what the fear is with a client when an agency is purchased. They fear the unknown, not knowing about their policy, not knowing where it is, not knowing if it's active or canceled. So you have to make sure that you do this properly because if you don't, it will be bad for your staff, it will be bad for your clients, and you'll end up losing more than what you gain by purchasing that agency. So you really have to have strategies in place. And agency performance partners, we can help you with that. You can ask, you can get an intro meeting. Just go to agencyperformancepartners.com and fill out the form. And we'll be able to meet with you and discuss your three biggest challenges and how we can help. So we hope this podcast was helpful. We hope the blog was helpful. Again, reach out to us, agencyperformancepartners.com. We look forward to hearing from you. We appreciate your time. Have a great day.